Considering high inflation, stock market volatility, and rising interest rates over the past year, it's no surprise many felt uncertain going into 2023. The rise in costs, however, has prompted updates from the IRS, potentially affecting Americans' finances in various ways, including their retirement, savings, and taxes. In addition, new legislation such as Secure 2.0 provisions may offer additional options for this new year. Hello and welcome back to the Finance Guardian channel. This video will discuss the big changes for retirement plans and taxes in 2023. What to know and plan. So hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it and let's get started. As you may have heard, retirement finance is about to undergo big changes thanks to Secure 2.0, a package of provisions included in the massive spending bill that Congress passed and President Joe Biden signed late last year. A key feature of Secure 2.0, which AARP supported, is that it will make workplace savings plans more accessible and offer more incentives for savers to contribute to retirement accounts. Although most of Secure 2.0's key provisions will not come into effect until 2024 or later, retirement finance won't be at a standstill in 2023. The current state of the economy will impact older Americans' pocketbooks because of changes to tax rules, savings plans, social security benefits and more. Here's a closer look at what's in store, some key financial opportunities to explore for 2023, and how each may affect your wallet. A higher contribution limit for retirement accounts. For those hoping to increase their retirement savings, there is good news for 2023. Contribution limits for 401ks and individual retirement accounts are now higher. The employee deferral limit has been raised from $20,500 to $22,500, while the catch-up deposit limit for savers age 50 and older has been increased from $6,500 to $7,500. These increases also apply to 403b plans, most 457 plans and thrift savings plans. Obviously, this is a big change for many people, but without a reminder from an advisor or provider of your 401k plan, these changes may not be noticed. IRA contribution limits have also been increased. With you now being able to save up to $6,500 for 2023 compared with $6,000 in 2022. Several provisions in Secure 2.0 are intended to increase contribution limits in the coming years. Beginning in 2024, IRA catch-up contributions which have been stuck at $1,000 for several years will be indexed to inflation, which could result in annual increases. As for 2025, 401k catch-up limits will also be linked to inflation, and the maximum contribution for people between the ages of 60 and 63 will be higher. An increase in social security payments. Although inflation isn't good for much, it is helping social security beneficiaries receive the greatest increase in monthly payments in more than 40 years. With a cost of living adjustment COLA of 8.7%, average monthly retirement benefits increase by $146 from $1,681 per month to $1,827. The first retirement, disability, and survivor benefits reflecting the increase went out in January while December 30th marked the first day of the COLA boost for people receiving Supplemental Security Income, that's SSI, a Social Security Administered Benefit for the Elderly, Blind, and Disabled who have low incomes. The COLA, a COLA, was calculated by comprising the prices of consumer goods and services in the third quarter of 2022, with the same period the year before. After reaching a 40-year high of 9.1% in June, inflation was somewhat cooled, dropping to 7.1% in November. Since the benefits increase is fixed at 8.7% through 2023, the new COLA will provide an especially strong cushion against price increases if that trend persists. A higher threshold for long-term capital gains at 0%. Experts say that you're less likely to pay long-term capital gain taxes if you plan to sell investments for taxable portfolios in 2023. As a result of inflation, the IRS has also increased the income thresholds for the 0%, 15%, and 20% long-term capital gains bracket for 2023, which apply to profitable assets that have been owned for more than a year. It's going to make a substantial difference. The standard deductions and income thresholds for long-term capital gains are going up in 2023, so you'll have a much better chance of falling into the 0% bracket. Taxpayers with taxable income of $44,625 or less may qualify for the 0% rate in 2023, while married taxpayers filing jointly may qualify with an income of $89,250 or less. More time for required minimum distributions. One of the provisions of Secure 2.0 pertains to changes to required minimum distributions or RMDs that must be taken from certain retirement accounts every year. 
Starting in 2023, the age at which you must begin taking RMDs will be raised from 72 to 73 years old. This means that if you turn 72 in 2022, you would be able to take your first RMD by April 1st, 2023, and another one by the end of that year. If you turn 72 in 2023, you will not be required to take an RMD until 2024, when you're 73 years old, which will be due by April 1st, 2025. In 2023, Secure 2.0 will also raise the starting age to 75. While the change won't affect anyone who's already taking RMDs, it might create some great planning opportunities for those who are younger and don't need the RMDs, including possible Roth conversions. A decrease in Medicare costs. The standard Medicare Part B premium will come down from $170.1 to $169.9 per month in 2023 after a record-breaking surge in 2022. Aduhelm, a new Alzheimer's drug that Medicare originally projected would cost far more to cover, has had lower costs than expected, resulting in the decline. The premium payments for Medicare Part B, which covers doctor's visits and other outpatient treatments, are deducted directly from Social Security payments for most Medicare enrollees. This group's average net benefit, Social Security minus the Part B premium, increased from $1,511 in December 2022 to $1,662 in January 2023. Part B's annual deductible is also decreasing from $233 to $226. Medicare Advantage or MA and Medicare Part D prescription drug plans may also cost Medicare enrollees a bit less in 2023. Although these plans are provided by private insurers, Medicare estimates that the average premium for an MA plan will fall from $19.52 to $18 and a Part D plan will drop from an average cost of $32.08 a month to $31.50. An increase in the standard deduction. Most taxpayers do not itemize their tax returns. Instead, they take the standard deduction. For married couples in that majority, the amount they can take off their taxable income increased from $25,100 in 2021 to $25,900 in 2022. The standard deduction has also increased from $12,550 to $12,950 for individual taxpayers. If you or your spouse are 65 or older, you will receive a higher standard deduction. $1,750 for a single filer and $2,800 for a married couple filing jointly, up from $1,700 and $2,700 respectively in the 2021 tax year. Full Retirement Age Four decades after Congress voted in 1983 to raise Social Security full retirement age from 65 to 67 very gradually, it is nearly complete, with the FRA reaching 66 years and six months in mid-2023. The FRA, which determines your eligibility to claim 100% of the retirement benefit calculated from your lifetime earnings, has increased two months at a time based on year on birth over the past few years. People born in 1956 have an FRA of 66 years and four months. If you were born between September and December 1956, you'd reach that milestone by the end of April this year. For those born in 1957, the FRA is 66 and six months. The first of this cohort are eligible to claim their full retirement benefit midway through the year. And for those born in 1960s and later, FRA settles at 67. Prior to FRA, you may begin collecting benefits as long as you're already 62, but your monthly payment may be reduced by as much as 30%. But if you wait until after FRA, your benefit will increase by an extra 8% each year until you reach 70. Social Security Earnings Test the situation may be different for some retirees who are only semi-retired. If you claim retirement benefits before achieving full retirement age and continue working, your benefits may be temporarily reduced. If your working income exceeds a set amount, the limit for 2023 increases from $19,560 to $21,240 for beneficiaries who won't reach FRA until later. For every $2 in earnings above the cap, Social Security withholds $1. Upon reaching FRA this year, you will have a higher income threshold, $56,520, as opposed to $51,960 in 2022, and a lower withholding, $1, fewer benefits over $3 over the limit. You will no longer be withheld the month you reach full retirement age, and Social Security will recalculate your benefits accordingly to make up for the prior reductions. And that's all the time that we have today, folks. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe to our channel to remain updated about our future videos. We'll see you next time.